All right, Todd's back as we take a look at the full forecast. We know yep. what tomorrow is bringing. I'm assuming it didn't change from yesterday. So No, it didn't. Yeah. Um, but I will say, Lee, it appears to me right now like it's the only bad day of like the next 10 maybe. Right, let's go. Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. I was a little skeptical about Mother's Day weekend just because there is going to be a large storm on the East Coast. But more of the indicators are coming in and they're all keeping it south of us. So remember that yesterday we gave Mother yeah. Nature that pep talk and we said she couldn't ruin Mother's Day. You, you did, yes. So that, that's probably helped. I mean. I, I'm sure you played a yeah. large role. You're welcome. In our awesome yeah. weekend yeah. forecast there right you now. There you go. Yeah. So thank Goldberg, folks. <laughs> Half our state is clear right now. The other half is cloudy and there is a little bit of wet weather showing up on radar. Most of it's in New Hampshire right now. Very wet down in the Merrimack Valley. Nothing to show you in York County or Cumberland County, but there were some light showers last night, so it's still a little damp out. And then we have some sprinkles and light showers moving through the Oxford Hills and the Western Maine foothills and mountains, basically either side of the Androscoggin right now, Rumford area. Temperatures beneath the clouds are mild-ish in the 40s, but where it gets clearer, Bangor, whoa, Callis, you're at 30, and then you've got temps around 40 up north too, so it's, a, it's colder in eastern and northern Maine. This system slides out. We dry out this afternoon. Next one moves in late tonight and stays with us tomorrow. It's going to be stronger, and therefore it is going to give most of us more rainfall. Tomorrow not looking great at all. So there you go, 50-50 split this morning, clear, cloudy, any drops do dry up, but you know, it's not bad out. It's fine. Midday, same sort of thing, clear and sunny and warm up to the east and north, cloudier and cooler down to the south and west. And then this afternoon, I expect a lot of those clouds to kind of burn off and it'll be a lot sunnier everywhere this afternoon and evening. So it looks pretty sweet after about one o'clock this afternoon. There will though be a sea breeze that forms for our coast. So Coastal temperatures won't get much better than 55, and there may be a little fog bank that forms out there and tries to start pouncing in as the sun is going down. Here are your highs today. Low to mid 50s along our coastline, Portland 55, Bar Harbor 53. As you go inland, though, and you get away from that sea breeze and into brighter sunshine, especially in eastern and northern Maine, you're looking pretty warm. I mean, Bangor hits 64, Millinock at 65, and Caribou, probably the warm spot in the state, at 66. Nobody gets to the 60s tomorrow. Nobody gets to the 50s tomorrow. We're locked in the 40s with chilly raindrops as this next low goes by. But it does move out of here and allows for high pressure to start working in. We're back to sunshine on Thursday. We've got more sun on Friday and this high should get stronger and stronger as we head into the weekend and that'll keep this large low with a lot of rain for the mid Atlantic to our south. And it should be pretty nice over Mother's Day weekend. Won't be that warm. We're going to be in the 50s, but sunshine and dry weather can't complain at all. Now, as the system goes by tomorrow, a lot of us in southern Maine will pick up about a half an inch. A lot of us in eastern Maine, a quarter to a half an inch. Northern Maine, unfortunately, you're not going to get much rain out of this at all. It's mainly dry up for you. Here's the marine forecast. Seas 1 to 2 feet, east winds 5 to 10 knots, water 45. Clouds will give way to sun today. We'll have a high near 60 degrees inland, but we'll be in the 50s along the coast. Tomorrow it's chilly raindrops from pretty much start to finish. Highs only in the 40s. Sun returns on Thursday. Great day with highs in the 60s. Friday looking good. Sun cloud blend near 60 degrees. Mother's Day weekend in the 50s. Both days will feature sunshine. By the way, it's probably going to be a little frosty on Mother's Day morning. The temp gets down to about 32, but next weekly, mostly sunny, and it's looking like it's going to start to turn warmer. Middle of next week, maybe 70. I saw a 68 higher. on the inland there for, for Monday. Mm -hmm. Where do I need to go for that? For the <laughs> for 68? That, yeah. you got to go inland, but right, uh, not in. too far. And right. maybe later in the week, we all get all right. you know, some of that warmer so we temp. We can so. share the wealth. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.